Right, so this is um, you know, a user going into the system. This is what the, the user will see um, entering the system. So it's a completely new sort of approach where we, you know, the, the user is central. Uh, so everything is revolving around the user. In this case, the user is John Roberts, who is the CEO and has all the rights in the system. If somebody else was logging in, and we can try to do that later, they would see far fewer things available. <clears throat> so let's just walk over a few of the of the things and what has changed. Well, the menu is is here now, and you can just quickly go uh, there and select any one of these items, um, or you can expand it, and um, you know you can just go down and expand it and select. Uh, any option from within the menu. Uh, <clears throat> now you can also go and specifically select a form. So if I'm looking for the employee directory, I can just um, go and just typing it in and it will give me all the forms starting with that, um, you know, including um, th that phrase within. <clears throat> So I get the, the employee directory. <clears throat> I'm looking, for example, for the organizational units where I define the organizational units. It's just um, organizational, it gives you a number of things. I need this one. <clears throat> so I get the organizational units. So back to uh, home page. I get this um, dashboard, if you like, and from here I can see, for example, all my direct reports. So all the people reporting to me <clears throat> are listed below. In the system, there is a possibility to, to configure it to either list all the direct reports of someone or the direct and the indirect report. So in this case here is listing everyone. So it's, it's a long list. There's a number of tiles <coughs> which are available according to the license of the user and the customer. So if somebody has not licensed the appraisals, performance management, this will not be shown here. So these tiles <coughs> show here then you know, leaves and absences. So uh, I can see that they have 25 of, uh, available uh, balance and I have already used 10. I can I can see it graphically there and I can also go and view my balances by clicking on the view balances. I see this and I see all them, you know, the holiday leave here is five days brought forward and so on. So. I can see all the breakdown of all my different types of absences and uh, how that stands today. I can, I mean, every one of these forms that I can sort of make it full screen or I can just take it back and close it. I can go and enter an absence request from here. I can submit uh, an absence request if I want to from directly from here so I don't need to go to another form. I just click on submit absence request and I, I just go through. I see my balances on, on the right hand side again. And uh, it defaults to the holiday leave, but I can change it to any any one of the other defined uh, leave types. <clears throat> defaults to today, but uh, of course I can change it as well. And I can just submit it and, and move on. Uh, so. Uh, also, I can from here I can see training and development. If I have had any training history, I can and I can view it. I can enroll on available courses from here, so I can see this one which is available. I can click on it, and um, I can just request to enroll. I think we have seen some of these things in the in the current version. It's just to show you how it will look here. <laughs> Then there's a um, personal and work information. Uh, there's performance related things. It will show me who, who is absent today. Uh, and um, 
it will give me the you know the name of the person uh, any outstanding tasks so that i may have and if there's anybody having work anniversaries it will show them in another tile so nobody has any work anniversaries now so it doesn't show anyone there on the right hand side i can see all the different notifications for example pending for approval these are things that are pending on me to approve and i can click there and the approvals inbox will come in and I can view all these, um, what they are. It's an absence request, which I can just select a number if I want to, and I can just go there and approve or reject. And, you know, with this opportunity, we can see how thing, things work using this interface. Usually, Things are presented in a grid. It shows you here the number of records loaded. And, uh, you know, if you have selected anything, you can select multiples. And then if you click there, it shows you selected five. And what can I do with these selected ones? I can approve, I can delete, I can reject the request. So, and you can also from here export. So whatever you see on the screen, you can export to a number of different formats. Excel Word, PDF, XML, and CSV. And there may be other functions there which are denoted by the three dots, uh, which is, okay, show only the pending ones, so, uh, or show all of them. And uh, you can also place filters. Um, now, filtering is, um, there's two types of filter. There's easy filtering, and there's a sort of more uh, complicated, sophisticated, advanced filtering. Easy filtering can be performed just, you know, I want to filter and just select only um, course enrollment requests. So I just go there and say I want to filter and they just type in, start typing in a uh, course and it will just uh, filter only the course, whatever has course uh, in there. Uh, so there we are. So it's all the ones containing the word course. Um, and I can just remove that filter. I can also group, so I want to group them by um, the type of uh, document, so I can group them. And now uh, they appear grouped. So this is uh, the absence requests. And then further below, um, it's the um, expense authorizations, express claims, overtime requests, training course requests, and, and so on and so forth. Um, now, um, let's move to um, the home page again. Uh, as in the current version, you can also uh, publish news. You can create news and publish them. So this is the uh, latest news and updates. So it's... Um, coronavirus thing, and you can read more, click there, and it will bring you to um, the government side, because we placed the link there. And just to um, see, going back now, because when you create this, you can make it to um, appear in a new page, or uh, to appear in a separate page, or the current page. So now it was shown in the current page, so I had to go back to, to get the system back to uh, the previous one. But I can now search for um, these uh, news items so that you can see how you, you do that. News items management. So you got all these news items. So this one was this specific one. Um, Okay. You can have a lot of them and it will only show the ones that are valid, the ones that are published and the, whose expiry date is before the current, is after the current date. So this is a, you know, a rich text editor. You can create your own text. You can add images. You can place links like this one. Um, you can edit the link. There and uh, so you can enter it in a new window, for example, save it. 
Save that. Okay, so um, now what we were seeing here, um, I want to point out that um, we used uh, what we what is called the material theme, the material um, user interface standards, which were originally created by Google and are becoming very popular. But the user has also options to change the, the way the system looks. And if we go to the user preferences and we go to uh, the theme, we can select a Triton theme, which looks very, in a way similar to the current material theme. Only the, the fields are in boxes instead of being shown as an underline. So if we click that, and you see these, they appear now in boxes. And um, if I am, um, if I'm using a, a Apple um, Apple technology, uh, iPhone and i and iMac, I can select iOS, which um, makes it look more like an uh, an iOS application. So now it's different, as you can see. And uh, yeah, and the, the, some of the buttons are also different. So going back. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to change to material theme again. So, uh, okay, this uh, application now is on a relatively slow development platform. So, you know, uh, it's much faster uh, when it's deployed. Uh, and so here we have the notifications, any news announcements will appear there. And below it's, um, it gives various shortcuts, favorites that the user has created. And um, from here, for example, I can select employees and it will take me to the employees form, which uh, this one here is similar to the employee directory, only now it's uh, much more detailed and has a lot more, a lot more fields there. And, um, you know, clicking there, uh, it will take me because this is the employee. Click, clicking there, take Linda, for example, uh, clicking there will take me to Linda's form. So it's Linda. Again, we see, you know, we see the direct reports that she has. And uh, then it's divided into different sections, personal work, compensation and documents. Uh, if we go to documents, uh, personal, we'll see um, personal information work information, uh, and then, you know, there's, instead of having tabs, index tabs, as we had on the current version, uh, they appear in sections, so you can just click and open the various sections. You can click the interaction log and um, see, you know, any communication with this person, any specific notes, uh, communication details, classification, and so on. Um, training time analysis, for example, shows you, um, it's another form which shows you statistics about the training time employees have spent, have spent on training. Now it's, it's, shown by department and there is a contribution. You can sort it out by grade, apply, uh, or you can do it by location, apply, and or by core subject. Okay, 
Okay, now um, another thing which um, I wanted to show you, let's go back to the home screen. Is that if I, if I'm a manager and I logged in, I do see my direct reports, but from here I can also see their own details. So if I go to, uh, for example, Nicole Marco, the system now will show me these details now pertain uh, not to me but to Nicole Marco. So I can go to documents and um, I will see Nicole's documents. So these are SCV, so on, um, and I can can download them and select and uh, download the CV. Oops. Yeah. Okay, so I'm downloading it, so it comes into a Word document. Yeah. Okay. So, Nigel, I think I, this, the purpose of this was to give you an overview of the look and feel of the new user interface. Um, it's not really to show you all the functionality, but uh, yes, yes. if you have any questions, please go ahead. Um, I thought there was one um, look that you didn't didn't show me. Um, there was material, and there, there were I think there were four there. And there was. Oh yeah, yeah. If you want to look at that, yeah, let's so go. Net chain, was it called? Uh, yeah, let's go into the causes of abscess form because it appears better in the form where you can see all the different uh, um, fields. So yeah, go there, and then we had material theme. Uh, I we thought material is the current one. Yeah. We saw Python, iOS, and Neptune. Neptune is the one which is closer to the current user interface. I will change it to this. <clears throat> yeah, it's closer to the current one. All so right. If I open up one of these forms. Yeah, it's um looks more like the current look. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, and the buttons you see. The buttons are exactly the same as the ones in the current version, you know. Yes, yes. Okay. Kind of buttons. Yeah. Uh, whereas if I uh, change it, for example, to um, the other theme, it um, iOS, it looks the buttons are different as well. Yeah. yeah, you get, you see, it's different buttons. Okay. Quick question from me, Kyriakos. Yeah. When you were on, when you were on the, the home page, the to-do list had some red items for on them. Yeah. I well, take it they go yeah. red when they're, when they're out of date and they need, they need to be actioned? Yeah, well, to do items, you know, the ones that are red means that the, they are overdue. Now, these are not the to do items from the system because the the, the notifications, the call to action items yeah. that from the system are on this side here. Now, what these are is, you know, to do things that you, you enter into the system or the manager enters and assigns them to an employee to do various tasks. For example, you know, deliver HR access reports, uh, collect the uh, collect exit agreement and, and so on. So I think that's really helpful in the when you jump on your your home page, you're immediately highlighted the things that that you're that you've got to do straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I noticed that. Yeah. 